six shooter really cuts some holes quick, doesn't it? You know, one of my favorite species of fish to fish through the ice has to be panfish, perch, crappies, and bluegills. And the reason why is because they're the most plentiful game fish we have in a lot of our lakes. Right now, Steve Hoffman and I are going to look at perch and how to find them throughout the winter season. There you go. No, nice perch. Well, I think I just found one. <laughs> A good sign. <laughs> Well, that's a good way to start right there. Really interesting to see when we first pulled up to this spot and we put our locators down, we really didn't see anything on the bottom. And as, as soon as we started catching some number of fish, it seems like all the perch in the surrounding area have actually moved in close to us. And we're actually attracting more fish to this area. You can. Even in 15, 16 foot of water, you know, underneath the ice, the water is quite clear. And the fish can see quite a distance away, so you're attracting them, them in them to your area. Oh, I had them too. I think even when you're pulling the fish up to that, to you, and you're pulling them up, more of them are coming into that area, sort of investigating what's going on. When we first pulled up, we didn't see anything on the bottom, which was, we're in about 16 and a half feet. And now we got this just big schools of fish coming in and you're seeing them constantly. See him, he's right there. See if I can get him to go. Oh, that's a little bit better sportier one. Perch location is actually pretty simple. There we go. You know, perch are really fish of the flats. You know, they rolled in large packs. Let's look at some different locational strategies to find perch. This guy here, I think we're gonna cook him tonight. When on a hardcore perch search, look for the biggest, baddest flats in your lake. Early and late in the ice fishing season, perch will typically range in water from eight to 20 feet or shallower. During the middle of the season, it's not uncommon for perch to roam flats that are 20 to 40 feet deep and occasionally even deeper. In small lakes, begin your search near the drop-off, then work out toward the center of the lake. The flats near the drop-offs concentrate the forage and often indicate a change in the bottom content that fish key in on. Early in the season, it's not uncommon to find perch inhabiting remnant weed beds. Even late in the season, perch love foraging around tufts of sand grass for aquatic insects and worms. On big lakes with expansive flats, you may need to cover some ground to find the schools of perch. These schools are generally large, taking up several blocks. So when searching, it's not necessary to drill holes every 10 feet. Hopscotch for distances of 100 feet or more. Use your electronics to look for fish, but go ahead and drop a line down with a search lure or jigging spoon tipped with a minnow head. If perch are anywhere near your lure, they'll come over to investigate. If you don't get a bite within five minutes, move. Once you locate the school, you can refine your presentation. Also, schools of perch tend to meander like grazing herds of cattle. So as the school moves, you may have to relocate to stay on them. Get a school of perch wired, and it can be two-fisted, Katie bar the door, bucket filling action. As aggressive as these fish are, I'm dropping this bait down to within about two feet of the bottom. And if I don't see any fish on my sonar, I give it about a foot, foot and a half hop. And that usually draws the fish up. And when I hold it still, uh, that's, that's the trigger. That's when the, the fish tend to bite the bait. And if I see one move in and he's a little bit hesitant, like there is on the screen right now, I can just give it a little jiggle. And sometimes that jiggle wiggling the minnow head back and forth is just enough of an enticement to make them bite. Got one on the dead stick, huh? Yep. Ooh, a little bit better size one too. Look at that guy. Nice. This is one of my favorite techniques. Sometimes for catching bigger fish, what you'll do is fish a, what I have on here is a very, very tiny jig, some split shot, and then I'll put a larger minnow on, on there by itself, sort of tail hooked. And uh, sometimes you can actually sort of call through the perch, just targeting 
with a little bit bigger fish using a little bit bigger bait. He's a little nicer. a little bit nicer. Well, this one came on a lead head jig with a tail hooked fat head minnow and uh, we found that, that the fish is, as the day progressed the fish are becoming a little bit less willing to chase the baits we were using earlier in the day. Uh, we started out with swimming lures like a jigging rapala and flash lures like a jigging spoon uh, and the fish would come up and they would hit that pretty aggressively. When they slow down and become a little more lethargic uh, things like lead head jigs and, and live minnows that are anchored so they can't swim around very much seem to produce better. Ooh. Mr. Hoffman? That looks pretty nice. Yes, it is. Oh, yeah, there you go. Bull perch. Looks like somebody's been nibbling on him. They're definitely wanting a piece of meat on these jigging lures, and all we're doing is we're taking a little fat head or one of these rosy reds, pinching the head off, and that leaves a little bit of skin hanging down, a little flap of skin that really seems to attract those fish more than if you just cut it off with a knife or a scissors. And what we're doing is we're just tipping this on the rear tine of our treble hook, running it through both lips and letting it hang down. And that's not going to affect the lure's balance at all. It's still gonna have the same jigging action, but definitely these perch, everyone we're catching, is on the, on the treble hook of this bait. It's not on either the front or the rear hook where a larger fish might strike, just engulf the whole lure. They're definitely keying on just the minnow head. There you go, look at that mule. Ooh, I got one of those King Kong models That's a here. <laughs> no, he's not that big. Gonna use the gas for that. Yeah, he's not that big. It's beautiful color though. Look at the color of that got fish there. Brilliant yellow. What a beautiful fish. I'll make a very tasty snack tonight. There we go. Sure feels like it. No, oh, nice perch. There we go. Well, that is just what we're after right there. Boy, we might have a better group of them coming in now. That might not... Oh, look at that. Whoa. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Big boys are starting to go. We got the little flurry going on. Late afternoon, pretty soon they're going to be shutting down. If you've never tried pan fishing through the ice for like perch like this, you got to give it a try. It's really fun. Mr. Hoffman, the pile's getting bigger.